Hey guys, Jamie here. Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. Today, we're gonna to be taking a break from talking about phones to look at one of MSI's notebooks that's geared towards creators, the MSI Modern 14. It features a 10th generation Intel processor, MSI's True Color technology, and the creator sensor to help maximize the hardware you have with this laptop. So let's get this out of the way first. The Modern 14, or at least the configuration that was sent to us for review, costs 80,995 pesos. So let's see what it has to offer. But before we begin, guys, just a quick reminder to sub to the channel and hit that notification bell if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of our content. All right, so let's start with the exterior of this notebook from MSI. And as you can see, it has a brushed aluminum lid that kind of gives me the old school Robocop vibes, not the 2014 reboot, Look it up, kids, if you can't relate. Anyway, so they've gone completely away from the usual look of their notebooks to something a little bit more sleek and blends in nicely to the corporate setting. So no hits of their signature red and black and no RGB whatsoever. It's definitely a bit more toned down compared to the aggressive stylings of their gaming laptops, but you still have the MSI Dragon logo on that lid. The bod of the Modern 14 is a mix of aluminum and plastic, which is a little bit of a disappointment because for the price that you're paying for this notebook, I would have loved to see an all metal build. But I'm guessing on the other hand, it makes it a little bit lighter, seeing that it only weighs a little over one kilogram. If you do move around a lot for work, this is definitely gonna be easy to bring around with you. Now, usually when you get a notebook that has a similar footprint to the Modern 14, the first thing to get sacrificed is the amount of I.O. Thankfully, this notebook still has a healthy port selection. On the left side, you'll find the port for power, an HDMI port, a USB Type-C port, and a combo 3.5 millimeter jack. And on the right side, you have two USB-A 3.2 ports, another USB Type-C, both of them don't have Thunderbolt support though, and a full-sized SD card slot, which I definitely appreciate since a lot of laptops we've been getting for reviews on the website seem to have done away with it. So aside from being lightweight and extremely portable, let's talk about one of the other things that makes this laptop so special, it's display. When you lift up the lid, you are of course greeted by the 14 inch display at full HD resolution with an IPS grade panel. And the first thing I initially reacted to when I saw this notebook was how tiny the bezels are, which contributes to the small factor of the Modern 14. I mentioned at the start of this video that it does feature MSI's True Color technology and what it does is that it gives you different options for your usage to get you the best results. So whether you're just watching a movie, doing a bit of gaming, or for something that needs a little bit more color accuracy for design work, you can easily toggle between those modes. And by the way, the sRGB setting on this closely matches the one on the MacBook Pro, or so I've heard. Now, if needed, there's also a webcam on the bottom of the display, but as we all know, it's a pretty unflattering angle, especially to someone who has a huge honker like I do. Anyway, let's get to the bottom half of the notebook where you'll find the power button flanked by stereo speakers. They sound pretty decent, but a little lacking in the bass department, although you can easily hook it up to your favorite pair of earphones to make the experience more enjoyable. Of course, you also have the keyboard, black lit in white for those late night work sessions, and it's actually a pretty decent one. It always takes me a while to adjust to new laptops, but the transition to this one was a lot smoother thanks to the lower key travel, making it less prone to typos and accidental presses. The trackpad, on the other hand, is a bit of a letdown. It's just not as accurate as other notebooks that I've tried in the past, plus it's tiny. This is easily remedied with the use of a mouse though, and you're definitely gonna need one for more precise tasks. So let's talk about what's under the hood of the MSI Modern 14. Now the driving force behind any laptop has to be its processor and you've got one of the latest ones from Intel. It's a 10th generation Comet Lake i7 processor paired with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a one terabyte NVMe SSD and an Nvidia MX250. Now I've tried it for a bit of video editing and it can definitely get the job done if you're not handling 4K files. I also tried out a bit of gaming on the Modern 14 and you can enjoy some lighter titles on it, but I really wouldn't recommend it if you're planning to play AAA titles. Now one of the best things about this processing package though is the transfer speeds of that NVMe storage. It's really quick and I'll be flashing some numbers from Crystal this so you can see what I'm talking about as well. And while we're at it, here are some results of some benchmarks I took too.
For the battery life of the MSI Modern 14, they promise around 10 hours, but when I took it around with me for the day, which consisted of some writing, photo editing, streaming movies, and browsing the web, I got less than 5 hours, so that's something to consider. Bonus though is that just like the chassis, the charger is small too, so it's easy to take around as well. So the question is, would I recommend the MSI Modern 14 to content creators out there? Now it definitely has a great display, some of the latest hardware available out in the market, plus that form factor is just perfect for people who aren't confined to an office cubicle. But honestly guys, I'm a little on the fence because of its price point. At around 80,000 pesos, it just runs into some really tough competition that might have more muscle for your needs. And there you go guys, thank you for spending a couple of minutes with me. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to unbox.ph plus follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie, peace, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.